Hey guys, welcome back to the Cult of Vintage. It's Michael Todd. How are we all doing today? It's a gorgeous day here today. Uh, we are out, gonna go shopping at one of my most favorite places. You know what? Every place I go apparently is my favorite place. Well, this is one of my favorite thrift stores. We are in Sealands Grove, Pennsylvania. And we are at 38 Market Street, Market Street Thrift. Now, you guys probably have seen this place before, but now you're going to see it through my eyes. Again, 38 Market Street Thrift. Now, when we go in here, this is a privately owned thrift store. There's a lot to go through. I have a feeling this video, at a minimum, is going to be at least two parts. And I know for sure the second part is going to be super special. So without further ado, you guys, um, there's a lot to go through, as you're going to see. Uh, some places are a little crowded, and that's okay. It is a treasure hunt. You guys, this is a treasure hunt. This ain't any old thrift store. So uh, as I like to say, let me zip it, and we're going to get in here and get to shopping. All right, guys, so here we are on the exterior. Here's the little sun porch. You can see some stuff going on. But right up here is the entrance. Do, 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 do. 38 South Thrift Store. You guys, let's do it. Alrighty, so here is our entrance. So we're going to be careful and um, just pay attention. I'm going to try to film. And uh, yeah, you guys are coming along on the ride. Here we go. Okay, so here we are. Got a lot of jewelry, which I know nothing about. <laughs> but as you can see, there's, there's just a little bit, just a little bit to go through some great turquoise and silver over here you guys I know there's a lot of jewelry fans and collectors out there but again it just doesn't hold a whole lot of interest to me now I do see however this piece on the stones loose hmm. You know what? To me, that looks like it very well. Yep. She glows. It's an interesting piece. Don't know if it's marked. Let's see if I can get my hand in here. Both of the stones are loose, so. Oh, no, no marking. Part in the shadow, guys. It's over here in this little case. Let's see. Some figurines, some hummels. <sighs> Not really our bag. Got a pineapple dish over there. Some pewter. Mm. Meh. It's all right. Well, there's that sun porch, which we can go out there, but whole bunch, whole bunch, you guys, of Wade Whimsies. Check them out. Ooh. Seeing anything that really says buy me. You guys are probably like, no, buy that. <laughs> we got some more cases over here. 
And that's an interesting, is that a pie bird? You see it right here? I don't know. It's a big pie bird if it is. It's got a hole in its beak. Oh, I think that Scotty cover, that dish is an acro agate. Hmm. All right, well, I'm not saying anything. Let's check out the next room, shall we? All right, guys, so I just wanted to show you the glass, and this is just a little bit of the glass. So we've got some carnival. We've got a lot of carnival. Get you down here. Hello? Okay, we're good. We're good. Don't worry. <sighs> Trying not to get the shakes right now. A little too much coffee, I guess. If we look right over here, we have even more. You know, I've really been digging the Bohemian glass, or Venetian, or Czechoslovakian, this particular piece. Mm. Are you Murano? What do you say? No, I think you're Japanese, actually. Are we gonna... Barely, but... I don't know, there's just something about it. I actually really like this face next to it. You can see here. Imperial handmade check. Pretty. I'm gonna pull back. A lot of glass. Like I said, this is just the tip of it. Got some wedge wood over here too. Mm -hmm. Some littles. Maybe the little. Oh, I wonder. Is that dog Uranian, maybe? Could be. Could be Murano. I don't know. No. Don't glow. No glow. All right, we're going to head on down the, the highway here. No. Got some bags. We got, you, there's stuff everywhere, you guys. So it's going to be an interesting shop with me tour <laughs> look at oh and it goes all the way to the back oh my gosh look at all the tins now i have found some scotch tins in here before mm -hmm. he sure has we've got Candles. I'm gonna back up and we're actually gonna go into this room with some cookie jars. You know, there's your whole blush apple. I don't know. There's a strawberry down there though, too. Some of the red paint, the cold red paint, the cold, geez, the cold paint has worn off. Ooh, I do see a tobacco, a humidor over here. I kind of am really digging this. Look. Ooh. He looks German. He's as is. Okay. So he is kind of chipped up pretty good, but it looks like it's just underneath. Okay, so he does have... Uh, 
he does have a good bit. Oh, and I see right here. I don't know if you're gonna... Yeah, you can see it right there. Now, he does have a good bit of cracks. Yeah, I think he is German. You know what? This is one of those pieces where this would go into my personal collection, and I just am a person that does not mind some damage. Again, you can't tell. It's underneath, and at three dollars we're gonna get him i think that's pretty amazing and that is a majolica vase so it is a lead-based glaze so we're gonna definitely pick him up <clears throat> which would mean i have to go get a basket which i never do because i always feel like it's a jinx oh sorry about the light there guys but you got some medicine Now, for all of you drinkware, barware, stemware, check that out. Ooh. I'm not too su super vex vexed, versed. <laughs> I'm vexed on a lot of the drinkware. So, it's cool. I mean, I can definitely tell it's vintage. I particularly like this right here. The roses. Isn't that pretty? I mean, I think that would go lovely in a modern kitchen. I really do think it would. A little, little McDonald's. Live your life. Ooh, and the yellow pansy. You know, these are cute. I think it's 15 for the set. <laughs> you know, not bad. Whoa, we're going crooked. Okay, guys, here's some bottles. <laughs> oh my God. There's stuff everywhere. So, I mean, here, I'll show you. Most the floor. All right, I'm gonna go get a basket. Okay, so we're going to travel on down here a little bit further. See what we can find. Here's your, well, let me, I, there's a pass through I can show you. Now here's your bar room. All kinds of liquor bottles, beer steins, swizzle sticks. You've got decanters over here. Mm -hmm. So for me, this is just one of those places here. We've got a bunch of ashtrays. It's just one of those places where, you know, if you're afraid to get dirty, this ain't it for you. And that's okay. You know what I'm saying? Some of us like to get a little dirty, root around a little bit. I think it's fun. It adds to the excitement. It is literally a treasure hunt. Now, I'm never really... Like the barware rooms never really call to me because I don't get excited about this kind of stuff. But, you know, to each their own. But I did want to give you guys a look. So here we have a whole bunch of like vanity hair receivers, powder dishes. It looks like we have some Victorian milk glass along with some Bakelite. All kinds of goodies. But as we move down, we start to see all the smalls here. We love a good small. I kind of see this little itty bitty right down here. Right here. So 
See that's adorable. Made in Japan. I'll show you all the little bitties. Now I, you know what? I love a small, a tiny, even. They're just, they fill in nooks and crannies so well in your displays. Here's a lot of creamers. I know a certain someone out there by the name of uh, Cindy who loves a creamer. Just saying. No, I'm just kidding. I know that Cindy comes here, so. She's like, oh, I know. Okay. Which we got here. I love the coloring on this, very Art Deco. The shape, the color. Oh, I love the wear on that. I just think it adds an extra element to it. It doesn't detract. Here is like the kitchen area. We've got some wall pockets over here, it looks like. Czechoslovakian, Japan. This one's interesting. It looks very Italian. No, it is Japan. And we're just gonna kind of take a quick peek here. You never know what will be in here but again the dinnerware the dishes they don't really super excite me let's do go check out over here though because i will get down with the sugar and a creamer not gonna lie or a salt and pepper shaker of course what would any vintage collector be without salt and pepper shakers hmm? not really not what we're after all right So I did sit down my basket because what we're going to do next, see all the artwork, look at, it's up on the walls. So we have a room right here that we're going to go in. Okay. Uh, and then there's two more room, three, three more rooms down here. And then there's stairs downstairs and there's an upstairs. We'll be back. Okay, so here we are outside the first room. Now there is, for all you brass lover fans out there, mm -hmm, take it in, take it in. Now I am not the biggest brass fan. I think I have one or two pieces of brass. Um, the one is a crab, I forget what the other one is, but I'm pretty sure I do have more than one piece of brass. Uh, so what I think that we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of mix up the way that I film. Uh, I wanna give you guys a little bit of an overview here. What I will do is I will go uh, more in depth without the camera rolling. And then if or as I find things, I'm going to go ahead and show you those. So we're probably going to have a lot of jump cuts in this video. Um, you know, just um, so I don't break anything, including myself. Okay, I'm going to check it out and I'll check back in. <laughs> All right, so here we are a little bit further back in that same room. Now I do have some space you know, to walk. So I feel comfortable filming and talking all at the same time. Uh, I hadn't really found anything super special. However, I did want to show you guys over here in this area. Look at, look at all the figurines, animal figurines specifically. We've got a lot of birds, a whole lot of birds. 
I don't know that I'm really seeing any that are overly special. I kind of am on the lookout for uh, those parakeets. I don't know if you remember, we found them a couple of videos, videos ago. Ooh. Some more birds, some geese. Some deers, ducks, pigs, cats. My word. It's a menagerie. Got a lot of dogs down here. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, here I see three. Baby poodles, you're missing your mama. Or did you run away? Did you run away, you naughty kittens, you? Uh, down here. Ooh, now I kind of like this black cat. Didn't know there was something glued in there. You know, that's a hobbyist piece for sure. Uh, now, over here, I did see this skunk. Unfortunately, the skunk is missing all of his, well, 99% of his fur. No judging. I feel you, skunk. Oh, well. Go down a little bit further. Just all kinds, you guys. Ooh, see more skunks? Just a little shaker. I mean, he's missing his friend, but you think that makes a really cute figurine, right? Let's get him. I kind of... This one's interesting to me. It reads a little primitive, the sculpt. Uh, I'm leaving. No Tanala, guys, no Tanala. Over here, if I can reach it. I don't know, is this modern? <sighs> Made in Japan. So it's a little bit later of a piece. I believe it's if you see just Japan, it's an earlier piece versus made in Japan. Well, I think we found a cute little skunk figurine. Okay, so we are out of that first room. Here's a little bit of cruel up here. Not the best example, but who am I to judge that? We're just going to head on down here. Do we see anything as we're walking? And here we're coming up on our next room. All right, I'm going to set the basket down and we'll see if we can't find anything in here. All right. So let's check her out, shall we? Looks like it's going to be a lot of um, vintage toys-ish. Um, Coca-Cola Campbell's I'm seeing. Let's check over here. NASCAR. Some Winnie the Pooh. Pooh Bear. Oh, a lot of um, Boyd's Bears. What would a thrifting trip be without Boyd's Bears, I ask you? Which we got? It's a little dark, so we'll see how this comes out. <laughs> uh, some little Toby mug wannabes. What are you down here? Um, don't know if you can. Is that a brown? Even I can't tell in real life. 
the color is not very exciting to me. Maybe if it was in a purple, you might have considered that a little bit more. Do, do, do. Ooh, head hitting baskets. Let's not do that. Uh, we've got some M&Ms over here. Some peanuts, of course. And we have a little bit of Smurfs. Did you know that I love Smurfs? Now, only vintage Smurfs, keep in mind. I have a small village. Do I have... I'm missing any of these. Um, no, but there is an original Smurfette back there. Oh, that's an original Brainy right there. Oh, look, that's an original Smurfette. Oh. I guess you're going to have to take... Oh, no. There we go. I have her, of course, so I'm going to... I don't... I can't remember if I have an original. What year? Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> It is a 1969 Brainy. I don't think I do, and I don't think I have them in red glasses. So I'm going to get it. <laughs> oh, some episodes of the Smurf. You guys are like Michael, really? And I'm like, yelp. Three pack fun, the Smurfs. The best of seasons one and two. I think I have both seasons one and two. I sure do. Um, okay, I think I'm going to leave the basket behind us because we have a little pass through here. So let's go ahead into the next room. Don't worry, I've got Brainy in my hands. Here we have some religious iconography. No! <laughs> uh, this is a Last Rites. It's a traveling Last Rites. Um, Michelle from Com Comfy Cozy Living actually had one. And in hers, you actually would slide this up. And inside would be the candles, the holy water, and a crucifix. And the candles would go in there. Oh, drats. Oh, well. I got a little, I got a little too excited for nothing. But it was so cool to find. It would be cooler to find one with the candle and the holy water in there. Michelle's did, which was just amazing. Um, you know, I know, again, I've said this before in a previous video that I know the market on the religious iconography isn't necessarily the best. And I don't know if it was my Catholic, my Roman Catholic upbringing, but whenever I see it, I always do stop and look. I think that there are some beautiful pieces. You know, and I understand not everybody's Catholic or Christian, so. We love and respect everybody here at the cult. You can believe, you don't have to believe. We, we don't care. As long as you treat other people nice, that's all that matters in life. Ooh, a lot of figurines. You notice how I go silent the moment I see figurines? <laughs> a moment of silence, please. You know what's nice? We actually can be silent in this place because there's no music blaring. Hmm. She's interesting. I don't know that I want to... I don't know that she would be 750, but... That's an interesting piece. Look at all of them. We have a lot of wannabes in here. I'm seeing wannabe Yadra. I'm seeing a lot of wannabe early Austrian Art Nouveau and German Bisque. Okay, nothing really here. 
Okay guys, what I'm going to go ahead and do is film an outro right now. I don't know how much footage I got for the upstairs. We're about to head downstairs, which is pretty substantial. Um, I may be able to get enough footage to turn it into one video. We're going to kind of see how it goes. Um, so if anything, I just want to thank you guys for tagging along today uh, for a bumpy ride. I hope you enjoyed some of the stuff that I found today. Um, and um, it's been an adventure. Stay tuned for part two. We're headed downstairs, you guys. See you later.